do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in the last lecture we have studied uh, isotherms that is endothermic isotherm and in which we have studied that conversion of a gas to its uh, liquid state is possible if uh, the pressure is been increased at a particular temperature so now we are talking about the uh, theory of gas that is kinetic theory of gas that how a gas is said to be uh, in a gaseous state only and what are the properties of that gases so let us talk about kinetic theory of gases so the kinetic theory of gases are basically uh, following some postulates so what are those postulates let us learn about that so the postulate th of this theory are as follows the first one is all the gases consist of tiny particles known as molecules so this is a common thing that we know that all the tiny particles of the gaseous molecules are said to be basically molecules because a molecule is somewhat it is made up of uh, the group of atoms or it has been uh, a smallest particle of that of the gaseous uh, overall gaseous compound if we would say so uh, the next thing is all the gas molecules of same gas have same mass and volume so there are different gases so different gases have different uh, atomic mass or molecular mass and based on that they are saying that all the gas of same uh, gases all the gas molecules of same gas suppose if i am talking about the carbon dioxide gas so the if i am talking about carbon dioxide gas and if i have took one mole of carbon dioxide then the smallest particle uh, that is the molecule of the carbon dioxide uh, it will have the same uh, mass uh, and volume compared to that of the other uh, carbon dioxide Uh, particle or carbon dioxide molecule so it indicates that uh, the two gases which are of same gas itself the two gas molecules which are of same gas will have same mass and same volume but it is not with the different gases suppose if i have taken uh, carbon dioxide and if i have taken uh, uh, h2 gas suppose so what will happen is the both are different gases and based on that Uh, suppose if I have taken the particle of uh, or the molecule of a carbon dioxide and if I have taken the molecule of H2 gas, then the both are been present in gaseous state. But yes, the volume of the uh, both as well as the mass of the both the gases, since they are different, uh, since they are belong to different gases, will have different property that is different mass and different volume. So this was uh, the theory of kinetic. Uh, gases kinetic theory of gases so now moving towards the third property that is or the third postulate that is all gases are in continuous uh, random motion and collide with each other uh, and wall of the container so the gases molecules are uh, continuous uh, in random motion this is because because they have no intermolecular force of attraction as well as the distance between the two gaseous molecules are uh, very much and they are very much far apart from each other so what happens is this makes the gas molecules to move in a random motion or they are very feasible to move uh, anywhere in when they are kept in a container or, or where they are present in the environment so this is what they are uh, talking about and suppose if they are present in a container suppose if we have uh, maintained the gas in a container so what will happen they will collide with each other even though they will collide with each other as well as they will also collide with the wall of the container so they also collide with the wall of container and that's the reason that we feel pressure uh, when uh, suppose if i am talking about suppose if i have uh, filled a gas uh, in a balloon so uh, we could see that the balloon gets expanded because the pressure is also been increased in that case and uh, the gas move in a random motion which maintains the overall pressure uh, in the balloon to be constant and that's the reason they are in random motion and that random motion makes the pressure of the gas in a particular uh, volume of a container so now moving towards the next one the pressure of the gas arises due to collision of gases that is what i have talked about the pressure of the gases arises due to the collision of gas molecules with the wall of the container so the pressure is being maintained because of the colliding particles that is because of the colliding uh, uh, molecules of the gas which are randomly colliding with each other so now moving towards the next one that is this one the fifth one it says that all collisions are perfectly elastic and takes place with no loss of kinetic energy which means that uh, suppose if two uh, particles of the same gas or suppose of the different gas suppose if they are meant to be collide with each other suppose they have collided with each other what will happen is they even though they will transfer energy suppose to each other but the overall 
energy of the system that is if I am talking about the kinetic energy the kinetic energy will remain constant so in this case there is no increase in energy or no decrease in energy the overall energy of the system or of the gas that has been present in the system will be same and there is uh, no chance of uh, loss of kinetic energy because they are basically perfectly elastic and the gas part gas particles are basically known to be so strong particles which when collide with each other they will only change the direction of uh, that gas particles through which it, they have been collided and uh, the both will uh, change their direction as well as uh, the kinetic energy of overall uh, gas that is of overall uh, particles of the gas will remain constant so therefore the kinetic energy is proportional to the absolute temperature also so that is the main thing that we are now going to learn about the kinetic energy basically depends on the temperature and what is kinetic energy actually kinetic energy somewhere it is related to movement or somewhere it is related to velocity of a particular particle so what happens if we increase the temperature if we increase the temperature then what happens is the particles of the gas that it will because uh, they will get higher energy they will get excited and they will uh, try to move in a random motion so the more the random motion the more the speed and they will collide with each other and hence if more the speed then the kinetic energy will also be more because kinetic energy is related to half mv square it has a formula so therefore kinetic energy depends on the velocity also so suppose if i increase the temperature then in this case what i am saying is i am increasing the velocities of the colliding particles that is i am increasing the velocity of the colliding uh, molecules of the gas and because of which the velocity if it increases then kinetic energy is also increasing so therefore it this point number six clearly indicates that the kinetic energy is basically proportional to the absolute temperature so now moving towards the next one that is they say that at high temperature and low pressure the gases molecules are far apart so uh, this is something that we have learned in entry isotherm also we have learned that uh, suppose if we uh, we are introducing at high temperatures so at high temperature what happens and in that case we have also maintained low pressure so low pressure doesn't allow the gas particles to come to towards each other so basically there is no intermolecular force of attraction and since we have uh, because we have made it, uh, the condition at high temperature so again this is validating the point number uh, six which says that if the temperature increases kinetic energy increases so if the temperature increases kinetic energy increases then the two will collide with each other uh, with more effective uh, velocity and they will be far apart so if they will be far apart then what will happen is they will have no intermolecular force of attraction and yes the gas will remain in a gaseous state only they won't condense and even though they are not being in a condensed form but still uh, uh, in initial case suppose if the temperature has been kept constant and the temperature is not increased they are been maintaining a particular distance and because of that they are uh, uh, colliding with each other so, so suppose if I increase the temperature that is at high temperature they won't collide they will collide but they the distance uh, among suppose if i consider a distance between the two gas molecules they will be far apart from each other and yes at low pressure also because i'm not applying pressure on it so i'm making the gas too feasible and or basically, basically i'm not allowing the two gas particles to get pressurized towards each other and which makes them to be far apart and yes moving towards the next one that is at high temperature what happens at high temperature and low pressure so at high temperature and low pressure the volume occupied by the gas molecules is negligible now we are talking about the volume initially we have talked only about the uh, high temperature and uh, low pressure now we are talking about the volume in this case so the volume occupied by the gas molecules is negligibly small as compared to that of the volume of the container so what happens uh, yes the volume will be actually basically <coughs> when I'm talking about the gas particles and if I've increased the temperature and if I've lowered the pressure so the gas will be far apart from each other which makes that the particle of one uh, the volume occupied by the particle of the gas it will be very negligible compared to that of the overall uh, container in which it has been kept so this makes that the volume of the gas is equals to the volume of the container so that's the reason suppose if we have increased the temperature and if we have lowered the pressure the gas tries to expand and more if it expands basically the volume of the gas will also increase because the volume of the gas depends on the volume of the container 
if the volume of the catechol increases, then the volume of the gas will also increase. So these are the few uh, postulates of kinetic theory of uh, gases which we have learned and which we have to maintain because there are also few theories that we are going to learn based on the kinetic theory of gas. So this was the most simplest one that I hope you have got to know and uh, make thorough uh, this details uh, and yes share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.